Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today we're going to talk about some really awesome new LED panel lights made by iFootage. The Anglerfish PL180BN, which is bicolor, and the PL180C, which is their RGB WW light. Currently, I'm filming this video lit exclusively by their lights. I have the BN version here set at 5600 Kelvin, about four feet away from me. And then I have two of their RGB lights, one against the wall, and then one here, maybe about four feet away from me. Now, before we go over all the details and I explain how great these lights are, one of the very unique features that they both have, they have these TIR lenses over the LEDs. Without getting too scientific, essentially what they do is they magnify and focus the light, allowing a higher output in brightness within a more focused area. It's a way more slim profile version of what COB lights do with their reflector dish. So even though these are 80 watt lights, you're getting a lot higher output than you would with traditional 80 watt LED panels. Now, when it comes to color accuracy, both versions do really well. However, if you want the most accurate skin tones, then I would recommend getting the bicolor if you're using that as a key light or a main source of light that's hitting a person, though you're not going to be disappointed if you get the ADC RGB version. Now, one of the only things that I can think of that the BN version, the bicolor light, is lacking is that there is no green magenta shift. So you can adjust between the CCT range of 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, but in the RGB version, you do have a green magenta shift that you can adjust. Now, when it comes to the features, each of them respectively have an effects mode, they have different fan modes, they have a studio mode, so you can have them turn on automatically when power is connected, and they both have Bluetooth, so you can control them with either an Apple or Android device, and they work really well off their very well-made iFootage Lumen app. On the units themselves, you have pretty good control of the features, brightness, etc. However, with the app, you have a lot more features that you have accessible. Another thing to mention is that they do have soft boxes available for these lights, which I currently don't have. Personally, even though they do have a pretty good diffusion, I prefer to use a soft box with any lights if I'm doing any talking head videos. All right, so let's talk about the construction and build. These are really, really well built, very solid. They don't feel cheap. They do have this hard plastic type of material here, but it doesn't feel plastic. It actually feels a lot more durable. And then the yoke here is actually metal and you have just one twist lock here which is very smooth and locks very tight now as you can see here i do have a v-mount battery that's actually one of my favorite things about this light is a lot of lights in this price point actually have sony mpf type battery plates though as much as those are affordable, I very much prefer V-mount batteries. One thing that I actually really like about their yoke system is they have this quarter inch 20 with RE pins here. So you can actually mount things either on here or if you needed to rig something up to actually hold this using that type of mount, you actually could as well. All right, so starting from the left, we have a power button here. If the light is on and you just tap it once, it actually puts it to sleep. And if you want the light to come back on, you just tap it again. So that way you don't have to wait for it to boot back up. Underneath that, we have a USB Type-C port. Now, this is actually usable for two different things. One is that you actually have the ability to power this light via a power delivery battery bank or battery that has a 100 watt output. Or two, you can use this USB Type-C to 5-pin DMX adapter so that you can actually control this light via DMX. I'm not a big fan of having a USB Type-C for DMX because these cables are so heavy and you can easily break the USB-C. So if you're gonna use this, you definitely wanna have some extra slack and tie it so that the slack isn't being pulled on whenever you're running these at long distances. I get that they went this method to save space, but I would definitely prefer a dedicated DMX port. Now on the bottom left, you have the port for the DC power input that connects directly to the wall. And then you have this left dial that controls only the intensity, the brightness. The dial on the right allows you to go through different menus and set or select. On the top right, we have the CCT mode. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the bicolor light can change the CCT range, but doesn't have any green magenta shift. However, the ADC version does have that. So if I press set, I can adjust the green magenta shift only in the ADC version. If you click on it again, you can go to the expansion mode. And if you turn that on, press set, and then go back to the CCT, you actually have an extended CCT range. This can go down as far as 1400 Kelvin, all the way up to 20,000 Kelvin. That's pretty insane. The ADC version with the expansion mode off still has a pretty large CCT range from 2700 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. Then here we have an HSI button. This allows us to change our color. 
On the BN version, there is no HSI button. There's a Bluetooth button, which gives you quick access to reset the Bluetooth in case you need to connect it to a new app. Here on the ADC, if you wanna go into the Bluetooth mode, you do that in the menu. Then we have an effects button. You have the traditional effects that you have on most RGB lights. So I'm not really gonna go over any of that. Now in the menu, we actually have a fan mode, so we can actually have it set to auto. You can go to ultra quiet, which is gonna limit the amount of total output power you can have. So let's say we have it on ultra quiet, we go to CCT mode, and we're gonna increase the intensity. The max you can do is 50%. If we go into quiet, the max output here is 70%. Back to the menu, you have a dimming curve option, then you have the option to reset Bluetooth. Again, you only really do that if you have a light connected to an app and then you wanna connect it to another app, you're gonna to have to reset the Bluetooth and reconnect. And then we have studio mode, which is set to off natively, but if you have it on, anytime you have power, whether it's via a battery or plugged into the wall, it's gonna automatically turn off and it'll automatically turn off when the power is disconnected. Studio mode is great if you have these lights set on high fixtures or something where you don't need to go and physically press a button every time to turn it on. Language, restore settings, DMX settings. I don't have a DMX setup, so I won't be able to show you guys that. And then you can see the current firmware on the device. If you wanna update the firmware, you can do that via the app. Now, another thing that I really like is that they do have this quick and easy quick release for modifiers. So if I go ahead and tilt this down, you can see these lock and unlock switches on each side. This pops up and this allows you to take out whatever modifier, which right now we have the barn doors, and then you can easily slide in the softbox. And then with this open, you can also take out the diffusion. I love how well built this is and how lightweight they are. And they do come with this pretty well made bag. It does have two zippers for the main compartment where the light goes and a single zipper where you can put the power cables, any accessories or V-mount batteries. Overall, I'm really impressed with iFootage's first LED panel lights. And to be honest, in its class, in its price point, size, output power range, these are probably the best lights that you can get for the money. The ADBN bicolor version retails for 300 US dollars and the ADC RGBWW light retails for 330 US dollars. And I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.